friends welcome back to our channel Zazen Tarot Space my today's video is about a very interesting topic it is also a question that i get asked very very often by tarot card readers who are beginning to learn tarot or who are about to begin to learn tarot because they are very excited about the question whether they will be able to read cards for themselves so for that the first thing we need to understand is that how does tarot work friends tarot works on energies and vibrations of everything and everyone around us situations things people everything has got energies and those energies and vibrations are everywhere in the universe when we quieten our minds when we kind of put ourselves out of the way and we allow ourselves to quieten down to such an extent that we become a medium then these energies and vibrations work through us and we are able to pull out the relevant cards which tell us the story about the querent who has asked the question if uh, you want to know more in detail about how tarot works then you may refer to the video i have posted the card for this video it is called how does tarot work you will see the card on the top left sorry top right corner of your screen so to know in detail about this you can watch this video but for this topic the basic thing that you need to understand is that one tarot works when you are a medium you have quietened your mind and you allow yourself to be put out of the way and you allow the energies and vibrations to work through you so now when we say that should a tarot card reader read for himself or herself then my question to you is what is the objective of the reading because the answer varies depending on the objective so let's say you're a beginner and your objective is to learn how to read tarot cards then absolutely yes it is mandatory that you read tarot cards for yourself why so many reasons first you are the only person who is readily available to yourself at any time that you sit down to study your tarot cards anybody around you whom you would read for in order to learn tarot will have their limitations so my experience tells me that i was the only person who was available all the time if i want to read at 4 am i can take out my cards and read for myself but not for someone else secondly very important i am the only person who can actually verify things first hand if i read for somebody else as a tarot card learner when i am still beginning to understand the meanings of the cards so i draw a card and it is related to someone else the person may be very close to the reader maybe your sibling your parent child friend spouse whosoever the point is that it is a card drawn out for someone other than yourself so when it comes to verifying whether the card drawn out is right or wrong or what exactly it means understanding what the card means then in that case it is a second hand account it is somebody else's version it is their feedback that yes this card is true or not true or this is how i feel this is what i think this is how i act it is their version but when you draw a card for yourself and you pull out a card you yourself know that okay i have asked a question let's say how did i feel when so and so said so and so or what were my thoughts when i was asked to do this new project at work and when you draw out a card you can immediately relate that is this what i really felt because friends every tarot card has its own meaning however the meaning of the card is a separate thing and the card as an answer to a question is a completely different ball game so uh, the sun card has tons of meanings now i have memorized everything that the sun card means but when my question is will my boss be happy with my work and i draw the sun card 
what does it mean also now the question changes what is the reason behind this person messaging or texting me and i draw the sun card now try and find out the interpretation so learning and memorizing and understanding the cards is very simple but finding the meaning of the card in response to the asked question takes a lot of practice so when the first stage of the beginner tarot learner is over that is they have understood the meaning of all the cards memorized the important points then after that asking questions and understanding what the card which has appeared in response to the question what it means in response to that question is it takes a lot of practice and that is where a lot of tarot card readers feel stuck very frequently students whom i teach their most important question is and a very valid question is that i know what this card means but what does this card mean when i have asked this question and as and you know as the questions keep becoming more and more complicated the interpretation also keeps getting more and more complicated so which is why as a beginner when you pull out cards two questions in fact i encourage this pull out a few cards every day and ask questions to which you already know the answers for example what did i uh, how did i react when somebody said this to me or offered me this thing or uh, somebody i was in this kind of a situation then how did i react how did i feel what did i think now you know what you felt what you did what you thought and when you pull out cards you are able to understand the meanings of the cards better so as a beginner it is the best way to learn so three things you are the only person readily available you are the only person who can actually completely verify and you can fully relate to and third it is the best way to learn tarot as a beginner so as a beginner yes you must take out cards for yourself now when the objective changes to actually doing a reading for yourself predicting the future for yourself in that case should you or should you not do a tarot card reading for yourself so friends for this we will go back to what we had referred to in the beginning of the video that is how does tarot actually work you need to calm down your mind and put yourself out of the way you need to completely remove your mind and remove yourself and then do a tarot card reading so the reading flows through you which is possible for anybody whom you don't know also to a certain extent someone whom you know but you can detach yourself from however when it comes to people whom we are extremely extremely affected by or close to attached to and ourselves then one of the main things which we are not able to do as a tarot card reader is calm our mind the reason being there are three reasons behind this one we are not able to be objective in a tarot card reading which is meant for ourselves or someone very close to us second we think with our fears third we read the tarot cards with our hopes let us understand this each point a little more in detail objective we are not able to be objective why because we are we ourselves are involved when it comes to someone else's reading we can step back calm our mind be objective and do the reading objectively for ourselves that is practically impossible the more uh, complicated the matter the more important it is for us that we get the answer the more we are involved and the less objective we can be 
so for a moment things which are not so important to you you will be able to probably pull out and interpret the cards correctly but the moment the uh, the reading or the question is very important to you and you know you really need to know the future uh, regarding that area then things really go haywire interpretation goes haywire now the second and third things are also very important when we are reading we start to read with our fears or with our hopes this is the reason why we are not be able to stay objective what does staying objective means that we neither look at the fears nor do we look at our hopes we steer clear of both but when we are reading if we have a slightly negative approach towards the question if we are fearful then we will see every card has a positive meaning as well as a negative meaning so if we are fearful we will keep interpreting every card in a negative manner there are barely 10 or 15 cards in the entire tarot deck which have a clear cut positive or a clear cut negative only meaning most of them have it can be interpreted either way depending on the position depending on the surrounding cards etc now if we are fearful we are interpreting continuously the negative meaning of the card and if we are hopeful then we are continuously interpreting the positive meaning of the card so what happens is that we lose the objectivity and we are not able to look at the cards objectively and pick up whether the card has come up in a positive manner in the reading or in the negative me- manner should we interpret it positively or negatively or for that matter every card has let's say uh, at least four to five different meanings out of those which one is applicable in this reading if i am too involved i will not want to see what it is actually telling me i would want to see what i want the outcome to be this is the reason why friends uh mostly tarot card readers are dissuaded from doing a reading for themselves if despite being uh personally involved in the situation you feel you can be completely objective then in that case it is possible to get a correct reading or a correct prediction when reading for yourself so the answer to this question should i do a tarot card reading for myself or not look at your objective if you're a beginner and you are just doing it for learning purpose absolutely you must whether you're a beginner or you're not a beginner if you're doing it for predictive purposes then are you able to stay objective and unaffected neither fearful nor hopeful in that case go ahead and do the reading but there is a high chance that you are so involved in that that you may not be able to stay objective you will either will think through your fears or your hopes in that case request someone else request some other tarot card reader to do a reading for you you can also exchange readings a reading for a reading that's another way you can do it so friends i hope that answers your question all the very best for on your tarot card learning journey you can catch up more with us on our various tarot courses uh, we have the basic tarot learning courses we have the advanced tarot learning courses everything is free free here on our youtube channel so please join us on our next video